Warning, the following podcast contains violent scenes that may be unsettling to some listeners. Listener discretion is advised. Hello, and welcome to Hunters Hunted to Corruption. Join us as we tell the tale of four men bonded by their fear and hatred of the hidden monsters that reside in Washington, D.C. in September of 2009. Only time will tell of Jebediah, played by Adam B., Robert, played by Adam C., Walter, played by Chris, and Dr. Turner, played by Tillman, will survive together in this story ran by Andrew. Hunters Hunted 2 is a Vampire the Masquerade 20th Anniversary Edition expansion set in the world of darkness. If you'd like to contact us, you can find us on Twitter at twin underscore cities underscore VTM or find us on Facebook at Twin Cities by Night. We hope you enjoy. Welcome back to The Hunters Hunted 2 Corruption, where we last left off. Our um, intrepid heroes here were in a very unusual situation. They were contemplating burning down a church and uh, had found themselves back at this church to see if their hunches were correct about a creature of the night living within. Investigating into the basement, two of them went along. We have Robert Esposito and Jeb I don't remember Jebediah's last name right now, to be honest with you. But Jeb, you had you had found this uh, room inside that was locked, and you know, being curious and thinking there are vampires within, naturally you broke into it because you know why not add breaking and entering into into all the other crimes you plan on committing in your quest to destroy the undead. And inside, you flipped on the lights and you found an unconscious man on a cot, and you went over to check his pulse to make sure he was alive. And as soon as you touched him, you were sure of two things. One, he was very much dead. And two, he was also not dead, because he looked right at you as his eyes snapped open. And you don't have a whole lot of time to do any kind of reaction at all, because as soon as his eyes open and look at you, you find yourself just, like, frozen. And uh, you're just staring deeply into his eyes these just beautiful actually you know just these gorgeous golden brown eyes that just look so enthralling you just can't look away you can't speak and then you can't do anything what's what's going through your head at that very moment shit 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 yeah yeah i yeah that's uh that's about right so so he's he's just looking at you and he says leave what is your willpower your current willpower Current willpower is five. Okay, you don't feel any urge at all to leave. You, uh, well, I mean, aside from naturally, you know, whatever you might feel. But um, he, he says that to you. And then, like, his eyes seem to change. They go back to, like, a just like a more natural brown color. And he starts to, to rise up. What do you do? Pull away your hand. Can I move at all? You can now, yes. Oh, then I'm going to shoot him. Okay, roll initiative. My hand a dandy shotgun. Um, and Robert being in the being so in the my doorway, initiative there will be a six. Okay, Robert be, being there in the doorway, you uh, you see this, and you you know you're witnessing all of it as he's the guy starts to rise, and you may also roll initiative to act at a, at any point, and whatever you get will determine what you know is about to happen. Because if you get high enough, you'll know like, oh, hey, he's about to pull a weapon and shoot this guy. What is your total? Seven. Okay, so. Jeb is drawing a weapon. How would you like to react to that? He's drawing a weapon on this man. So I would like to reach into the duffel bag and try to take the the stake launcher out of it as fast <laughs> as I can, um, as gracefully as I can. Uh, it's it's zipped inside of the duffel bag, so I'm just trying to unwrap it and just just take it out. And uh, yeah, see how far so I can get with that. This <laughs> this guy. He reacts to this as quickly as you guys are like reaching for weapons, realizing the danger that he's in, and his mouth like opens up in this impossibly wide open just maw, right? Full of fangs. It's like the most crazy thing you've ever seen. And this tongue just comes sweeping out of it like a like like a several foot long, like razor sharp whip, and it is slashing Jeb across the face. That don't seem right. <laughs> All right, Jeb. So you 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 feel this immense pain, just burning hot pain, as like your face is just slashed with like this super sharp 
whatever, you know, coming out of this dude's mouth, just slashing across your face. It hurts really bad, like really bad. And you take three points of aggravated damage and you, and you just recoil in pain. And then Robert is now you have this gun out. Now what? I'm going to aim and fire. Okay, go ahead. You're going to have a plus one to your difficulty because like Jeb is like screaming and like in your way and like he's in pain and it just... So dexterity firearms, you're rolling at a difficulty of seven instead of uh, six because of uh, him being right there. He's within your range if you hit. You fire and the wooden stake comes shooting out and whizzes right past Jeb's, his, his side and clips his shirt but doesn't hit him and doesn't hit anyone else doesn't just sh- hits the wall and just shatters with like the wood just splintering jeb you are in pain and screaming what uh what are you going to do jeb's pulling the trigger on his shotgun okay okay uh factor in your wound penalty and go ahead you're at point blank range he's not going to be able to like dodge or anything dexterity plus firearms three successes okay roll your damage plus two extra dice and this is just regular shotgun rounds? Yeah, this is just going to be him with buckshot, probably. Okay. So, damage is eight, so... ah, oh, Fucking ones. So you fire this gun off right into his chest, sure hit, and it just, like, everything just kind of bounces off of his skin. It shreds his shirt, you know? And, like, his, his stomach is exposed, and there's just like and, and through the blood streaming down your face, you know, you can barely just see that like he doesn't seem phased. What do you do now? What was your declared action? Oh, Jeb's gonna rack another round and take another shot. What will be uh your declared action, Robert? Call for backup, load another shot. So can I try to ready a shot while doing the fucking bird call into the earpiece or whatever? You can you can definitely you can definitely do that. So it'll take uh an action to uh reload. Okay, then that's um, all I want to do. Do I ro- do I roll to reload? It's a dexterity firearms of four. If you have more than four, I won't make you roll it in that pool. I'll be rolling it. Okay. So he grabs at the gun in your hands, Jeb. Does he get a good grip on it? Yeah, and he's going to try and yank it out of your hands. Now you can uh, resist this. You can roll your strength and brawl. And you know what? I'm going to spend me a willpower on that. What's the difficulty for me? It's a six, but remember your dice penalty from your wounds. You should only have minus one, I think, at three health levels. So just the one success from the willpower, then. Okay. He overpowers you easily and rips the gun out of your hands. What will you do? Adam, you you go next. You're calling. You're doing the chirp. You guys will hear it and be able to react and go. One success on the reload. You reload successfully. No issues. Real quick. Walter and Greg are are outside. You hear you hear the chirp of like that you that you had pre-established is like the emergency shit hit the fan. <sighs> Gregory, let's go grab one of those guns. Mm, I'm gonna grab a pistol that Jeb gave to me and like run with it in one hand and just kind of like head forward to the front of the church. There's no hesitation now, guys. So Greg is really bad with guns. What exactly did we bring again in terms of weaponry? Like I'm going to let uh, Jeb answer that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> I think Jeb was just handing out whatever people wanted, and he brought himself a shotgun and a revolver and a pistol. Honestly, I think uh, at this point, Greg would probably feel most comfortable with the shotgun. Not because it's easy to carry or handle, but because it's point and shoot <laughs> for sure so okay. he grabs whatever uh shotgun is lying around okay hoping that there are shells at <laughs> least somewhere around and it's loaded it. or something yeah well there are, are these like shell holders that you clip onto the the shoulder stock whatever <laughs> i think greg would have the uh, greg jeb would have these because they're because they're cool and hunters use them i don't know or um, policemen in the 30s all right, so you guys grab weapons and start running. And in the meantime, what, what is Jeb going to do now that he's been disarmed? He's going to pull out his next gun. Oh my god. Okay, well, and what, what is that and where is that? Uh, it's probably a revolver that he had tucked into his waist basket, or yeah, his waist basket, his waistband. Okay, okay. And what about uh, Robert? I'm going to try to take another shot, this time spending willpower. Okay, so 
the man he stands there with this uh shotgun right and he his mouth still like hanging wide open these razor sharp fangs you know showing and just like absolutely terrifying and that tongue just you know whipping around and it just lashes out at uh at robert like across the room just like reaching just like slashing at you and completely going wide and slashing at the door you know you kind of duck to the side in the door frame and it like it startles you but uh because you didn't expect that i scream as this is happening (laughs) okay your action my action is so did so like when he did that did i take cover from it at all or did it just miss me by luck or you just happen to be at such an angle angle that like you know you're that it hit the door frame next to you and uh you weren't uh struck by this but it like you can see like a dent like where the wood the drywall is like damaged and like the metal frame even of the uh of the door frame is is bent like it's it hit hard so spending a willpower and trying to focus this time, trying to take that extra half a second to not just shoot into the wind, I think to myself, okay, focus, Robert. Fucking hit him this time. I have to hit him or Jeb's going to go. And I, I take aim one more time, and I'm spending a willpower this time, and I want to try to shoot him again. Go for it. All right, so one. And then do I roll damage as well? You said yeah, it's so three? roll the damage. It's uh, three damage. Okay, so the the spike that fires out, like it it hits him, right? And it like stabs him and kind of cuts him across the shoulder a bit, like as it, it tears some of the flesh and you just see it like instantly like knitting back together. Yeah, Robert's uh very discouraged by that. He's kind of thinking to himself, "Oh shit." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then Jeb, you pull out your weapon. Are you trying to get this out and shoot at the same time? Oh hell yeah. Okay, so roll a uh, dexterity and firearms. You you can split your dice between two actions, right? Take your dexterity firearms pool minus your penalty, okay? How many dice is that? Six. You have six dice to split between trying to draw this weapon out and fire it. You need right, at least wow. one dice for each action. Split them however you want to get it out without dropping it. Oh, he botched, drawing his, he botched the draw. Okay. All right. So you actually drop it on the ground. Motherfucker. All right. So declare your next action. Mm, let's see here. It's a good action. Can't remember if I brought a grenade or not. So uh, he'll just pull his next gun. You know what? Why not? Okay. Got another one of those, huh? Then oh, uh, it's, it's Jeb. He's got <laughs> yeah. like more in his fanny pack that he hasn't even gotten to yet. So Robert, you see this situation unfolding badly before you. Yeah. Uh. Part, all right, so Robert wants to just try to reach out and just grab Jeb and just try to pull both of them out of there, but he doesn't think it's going to work. So he just is going to reload again. And he's, it's starting to kind of like hit him that if this doesn't work out, like this is it for him. And his life is kind of starting to flash before his eyes in a way. And he's starting to wonder what's going to happen to his family. It, it's all happening in seconds. He's, you know, it's like, it's all just starting to hit him, though, as he goes to reload again. Okay. You hear a voice behind you shouting, Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Stop! Stop right there! And you turn to look. And someone from inside the church has come down from the the stairwell on the other side of that big open area, you remember? And they're looking at you over there in this hall, and he seems to be reaching for a weapon at his waist. And uh, then this this guy... He, uh, yeah, I haven't forgot you, for, for forgotten about you guys. Don't worry. It takes you a little bit of time. Also, I should actually ask, are you going through the front door or through the back door? I'm, run- <clears throat> I'm running through the front door while I'm, like, taking a bump of Coke. Like, I've got oh little, little things that you can put up to your nose and, like, inhale. Oh, I'm my God. Doing that because, yeah, I'm fired up. I'm running in. No, no, all cautions to the wind. All caution to the wind. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, following definitely because they went through the front door. So we just have to hopefully be able to retrace their steps and get there quickly. So this guy, he turns the gun around in his hands and aims right at Jeb. Luckily for Jeb, he uh, cannot use his full dice pull. It's a moment of truth, Jeb. All right. Six. Two ones. Four lethal damage. All right. Do you have any kind of body armor? Nope. (laughs) All right, you take four lethal damage Jeb as is, the shotgun 
just shreds into you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that kills him. You had uh, three before, right? Uh, yeah, three ag plus the four lethal. That's the full seven, and it's a lethal damage in his in-cap box, which I think kills him. Let me double check. Yeah, incapacitated. So yeah, Jeb is like right on the fucking cusp. Yeah, so you are you will die if you don't get immediate attention with like in the next like minute or two. Like if somebody doesn't try to heal you or in some way try to sta- staunch the bleeding or anything like that, you're not dead. You are, you will die though without immediate medical attention. Or, you know, that uh, magic potion that you have in your pocket. <laughs> ah, yes, the magic potion. So you fall to the ground. You see this happen before you, Robert. And this other guy is like, like pulling a weapon out on you. What do you do? Uh, add a character really quick. Do I know about this potion that Jeb has? And, yeah, um, like it was a big, whole big thing where Doctor Turner like b- was going to brew up a potion that could heal people and like made sure that Jeb was the one who had it because he was the most likely one to get hurt. I wanted <laughs> to try to leap towards where Jeb is. I mean, I'm not a big or dexterous guy. It's just a few feet away. Like he's right in just, front of you. I want to just kind of like, like he's on the ground in front of you. Bleeding. Just try to push over to where he is and try to start. Giving him medical attention. I want to if I if I can find that on him, I'm just gonna pour it down his throat. Okay, so you're gonna so you're gonna abandon your action to do this instead. Yes. All right. So you can either spend a point of willpower to do that or roll willpower to try that. It's a difficulty will, of six. If I spend it, is that just like a? It's so, automatic. You don't have to. You can just change your action to do this. Okay, and I'm gonna you, spend the willpower to just change my action to doing this. Go ahead. Yeah. You can just jump down to, to him, like you run over and like like oh, you know like you're looking at him and making sure you're like looking around for the potion, like desperately searching him to find it. And you can pull it out, and this guy is like towering over you, almost it seems, just standing over you, watching you. So and I pull that it man out. In the hall, comes running. Yeah, you pull it out of his out, out, but that's all. That's as far as you get. Okay. And this man comes running down the hall at you, and we'll cut to the others for a moment. You went running through the church. You'd come in. You got guns in your hands. You hear a gunshot as you come in, and then another. And people are like freaking out. the The few people who are here at this time are are just like screaming. Some went hiding. They ran away. And then when they see you, some like just like immediately like just duck behind like the pews. They're like freaking out because they see you have guns. They don't know what's going on. There's gunshots. People are terrified. I'm gonna keep running towards the sound of the gunshots, and I'm just going to. It's coming from like somewhere in the back. You think? All right, I'm heading back there then. I don't know if the, the um, steam, steam doctor's following me. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely following, like, looking for entrances on the sides, on the walls. There, there's a woman who's, like, ducked down behind a pew to your right, you know? And as you pass, she looks up at you and sees you and just, like, <laughs> you know, just starts, like, wailing and freaking out, putting her hands in front of her face, you know? Like, like just flinching and just, like, in absolute sheer terror. I don't even pay no heed to her, to be honest with you. I'm all, the coke is probably, like, hit my system and I'm just like going towards the sound of the gunshot shots, plural. Yeah. And then yeah, there's another is, shot this is real. Like this could mean that Jab and Robert are like in a life threatening situation. So exactly. This is yeah. a brotherhood. Yeah. Greg is and then, like, he, he doesn't even think at this moment. I think uh, he, he's probably relying on following Walter in a way because he like couldn't do this on, by himself. Like he knows he has to help them out, but, doesn't know how yet yeah and and as you guys are moving forward you know there's this another shot rings out loud just you can definitely determine where it's coming from you can see like as you move to the back uh where there's this a door that leads down to um like a stairwell to a, like a, a basement level and then there's like a hall that goes keeps going you could tell like oh shit it's coming from downstairs i'm going down the stairs yeah as you come downstairs you know you see that there's this big open you know room right sort of like a uh it's it's directly underneath where they have like the the main prayer and worship center and these these support beams underneath and it's just a big open area where maybe they can have any kind of gathering they need down here maybe they have sometimes have you know like uh the wednesday night uh sermons or 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 the you know like sunday school for like the kids and things like that might be down here while the adults are up in 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 their own sermon so you're down here and you see that uh the, the lights have been flipped on and there he is lit. It's a, it's it's mostly empty. There's some chairs and tables around, and you see a cross directly to your right. 
there's a small hallway that extends that uh, is uh, now lit. And standing in that hallway is a man. He's Well, not really standing in the hallway. He's rushing to that hallway. Is a man who looks like he might be, uh, like he's wearing like a blazer. And he's got, uh, he's got like slacks on and like dress shoes. And he's rushing towards this doorway, right? And he, it looks like he's holding a pistol in his hand. And he's holding the pistol in his hand. Does he? It looks okay. like he's rushing towards this doorway in the uh-huh. hall. Right, yeah. that's open, and it looks like he's holding a pistol in his hand, in his in his right hand, as can he's I, running. Can I um ask something, storyteller? Can I make a roll to see his body language to see if he is how how he's reacting? Right, because with Walter's background, having done like embedded journalism in the eighties with the military and stuff like that, you know how he said communist guerrillas and all that fun stuff. Can he read the body language of how this person's? reacting to by whether or not he seems trained and knowing what he's doing or does he seem someone who's like hesitant and what and i know he's running down there but does he seem like he's reacting like a professional or is he reacting like a concerned citizen all right so since this is like in the heat of the moment Mm -hmm. it'll be a wits empathy role right and i will let you i'll let you attempt this but it's going to be difficult because of the scenario this guy's like he's got his back turned to you he's running away from you he's across the room it's not it's not easy to get a read on someone's body language of what they're doing when they're sprinting across a room with a gun in their hand other than like for sure for sure yeah yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with a nine okay let's see i have three willpower left do you really want to use it on this no no (laughs) that's all i was thinking so i'm gonna just try the roll here Greg panic shoots the guy oh, because he's got six, a gun. <laughs> zero success. Well, I have a gun too. Zero successes though. Um, You're not certain. He's just running with a gun in his hand. How far ahead of he is he of me? Like he's maybe this room is no more than eighty feet, and he's like fifty feet away. Like it's it's a large open room mm. underneath. Um, does he? Oh with man! Mostly support beams and some tables and and chairs that are like the fold out tables and fold out chairs mm-hmm. that are around the edges of the room. And then there's like there's like a refrigerator, but there's not a whole lot in this area at the moment. So I don't have a dot in firearms, so that means that does that is that uh, that's a plus difficulty if it's a skill, right? Yeah, it'd be a plus one. A plus one. I have. Um... It'd be another plus one because he is. Uh, if you're trying to shoot him. Yeah. specifically it's another mm-hmm. plus one because he is a running moving target i'm going to scream i'm going to scream for a second and i'm going to be like hey you okay okay that'll definitely give him pause because it's not like he's expecting someone to uh, be behind him at this very moment and so he'll kind of like s- skitter to a stop and turn and look back at you and i have and, the uh, piss- okay i'm sorry go ahead I thought- and 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 so with that uh like turner you're coming up right behind him right yeah. Um, what do these uh, stairs look like? Are they like kind of narrow? No, they're actually uh, they're actually pretty wide stone stairs that are. Um, okay. Okay. So I can it's a short wide stairs too. So it's not I, like so I quickly get an idea of the room and like what's happening right after Walter is like down there. Let's say, what do you think? Am I getting down there uh, when he's yelling, hey, you? And Yeah, like moment, you'll come like, up right up behind him as he's up. like, hey, you, and like see this guy like skidding to a stop. Okay, excellent. And then um, any anything you want to do at that very moment. Seeing that this guy has got a gun, I like definitely raise the shotgun up. Okay. In a way that would seem um, like the right way to do it to Gregory. So what I want from you two is to roll your initiatives. We'll put you into the uh, action order with the rest of everything. Minus twelve. Yours is a twelve. Okay, so what are you, what is what are you going to do in this moment? You know, you're you're trying to administer whatever this is to him, right? This potion, this this magical, like you're like I, you know, I know this heals, like uh, that's what you were told. So you're gonna try and like shakily, admin, like make him drink it. Yeah, like I'm pushing his like mouth open, and I'm just like I take the the cap off with my teeth, and I'm trying to just just pour it into his mouth, and just just make sure that it it goes down. Okay, so. You're doing that. Tillman, what are you doing? I think Greg is too too scared to shoot first, so he would wait. He's not trained for this. He, he doesn't He's just know like aiming react. at him like, uh... Yeah, like, uh, I got the bigger gun. <laughs> okay. The guy that uh, stopped, when he sees this gun being raised up at him, he goes diving, trying to dive into like a room to the side where he's at. Like, he is like, oh, shit. Like, he sees this gun being pointed at him, and he's trying to just roll out of the way. So what are you doing? I'm going to try something here, and I hope it works. <laughs> I'm going to scream, Iris sent us. 
to the figure who dived in the room. Okay. So inside this room, this uh this guy standing over you, he just you you're 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 sitting there trying to administer this like this this liquid to him and he just kind of like pauses, cocks his head to the side and is watching like what you're doing. Like his mouth wide open, you know, these fangs, the tongue just snaking down around you. You can see like it just like gently tickling over the body, the unconscious body of 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 uh of Jebediah, you know, like, and where it touches, you see, like, some of, like, his blood being absorbed, you know, and it's just kind of like, and it, and his eyes are locked on you, just watching you with his head cocked aside, just curiously watching you with an expression that can only be read as, what the fuck is this guy doing? Just kind of, like, genuine confusion, okay? And he's just watching you. And then, like, right behind you, this other person comes, like, barrel-rolling that you, you'd seen before, you know, come barrel-rolling into the room, like, <sighs> there's others here there's others here there's, there's there's more and you shout out you know this this warning or this uh like iris sent us and like you can hear by the way you can hear him shouting robert there's a voice of like you know they're here now like robert you hear you hear um walter's voice shouting this out you're in there's this somewhat i guess of relief you know knowing that at least they've come in what do you guys do i scream out I don't know if, if I have to like be in turn to do this, but I scream out, he's hurt. I turn and look at Gregory and I like motion that I'm going to go forward and I'm got my pistol out, but it's more for like design really. And I have my other hand open and I'm just like slowly like walking towards how far am I from this room right now that like the voice Robert's voice came from. Well, you're across the room. So, okay. So I'm just going to be like, this is all a misunderstanding. And as I'm walking forward, I'm looking at Greg like with my serious eyes, like fucking man the fuck up behind me. And I'm gonna like walk forward. I have a uh, quick question. This is for Tillman. What level of your healing did you use to make that potion? Was it two? Yes, I think I used the uh, the higher level. I think we talked about this. Either it worked faster or it was more efficient or something like that. But I think I used the level two power. Just because I have it, you know? All right, so what happens before you guys can do any other actions? Because he was on the ground, like, trying to like, just administer this to him. I'm going to give you a dexterity and medicine roll. This is at a four. It's an unconscious man who's not resisting you. So I have no medicine. Do I take, a, like, a increased difficulty uh, just or roll, Just roll dexterity. We'll roll it at a five. Uh, normally you can't roll medicine without it, but uh, this is just, like, you're just trying to give him a potion. Like, you could pour something down his throat. You don't make a mess. You have two successes. You don't make a mess and pour it all over his face and just, like, he actually, you just get him to drink it and gulp it all down, you know? And the more he takes, the more he starts responding, it seems, right? His, his, he, his, his start, eyes start fluttering and he, like, starts leaning forward into it, you know, and t- drinking it, you know, and gulping it down. And you can see that, like, the wounds that are on his body, like, immediately begin, like, healing, just, like, instantly just keeling back together his flesh knitting together mark off two lethal damage from your sheet jebediah well no that's handy so if you live long enough you're for the next couple of weeks you're going to heal damage twice as fast but uh you're barely regaining consciousness and just like you're on the ground what what does that put you at by the way level of health that'll put jeb at mauled okay so you're still very badly injured and you would be able to hobble around. You are still at a state in which you need medical attention, though. Like, it is, it is still very bad. Like, you could still die. The more uh, you effort you put yourself through, the, the more likely you are to just bleed out right away. Just to keep that in mind. So you administer this uh, potion to Jeb. This thing. Eyes widen in surprise. And it looks to the man who's, like, come tumbling in, and it says, we want them alive. And, Adam, it grabs you, grabs your face. You want to try and resist it? Yes, I would like to. All right, I'll give you the, 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 the strength brawl roll. Like, is it, like, it's grabbing you. This is out of six. Did I get zero, or did I botch? You got zero, because you have a seven there. So, it grabs you, and makes you look in its eyes. Oh, shit. I'm looking in his eyes. Tell Maria I love her. What's your current willpower? Three. You will take your friend and you will leave. You will convince your others to leave. And you're going to call this number when you have find a safe place. And he lists off a phone number to you. And you will stay there and wait until you get a return call. 
and you feel this compulsion to do it right away. You just start like, and, like without even thinking, you start dragging Jeb out of the room. Can Blood I throw him over my shoulder? Ground. I'm a big dude. Yes, you are a big dude. Do you have the strength though to to do that? What is your strength I, score? I have two strength. I believe that you can lift him and move kind of at a slowed kind of like uh, 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 pace, you know? And you you just start dragging him, you pick him up, and you just start leaving. What are the others outside doing? What are you guys going to do? What are your actions? I was going towards the door. To okay, see you what start moving around. towards the door. Yeah. All right. Yes, yeah, same. Okay, so you guys start moving towards the door, and you get closer and closer. And then you see Robert coming out of the room with a bleeding, unconscious... Or no, not con- unconscious anymore, but a bleeding, grunting, and moaning Jeb slung over his shoulders. What's in there? Now you're not in the hallway, so you can't see. Oh, you just go. Okay. You come oh. running up to the, the to. You're just running, and you see him come stepping out. Okay. But you. Do, I mean, you can still ask him that. What's in there? Can I answer him, or do I? Would I just keep going? You can. Yeah. There's nothing stopping you from from acting normally outside of the command you were just given. So Robert would probably be. Very confused as to what's happening right now. You know, he's just given this command and he cannot help but follow it. And so he feels himself being basically controlled to move out of the room. He looks at he looks at Walter as he's asking him this, and he just like you. If you were to look into his eyes, you would just see this absolute panic. Just uh, his eyes, just completely wide, petrified, as he holds Jeb over his shoulder and just kind of keeps keeps walking straight. Don't go in there, Walter. Don't go in there. And I just keep going. He's he's like slowly marching past you guys and you may act however you want. What do you guys want to do? I look at Gregory and I'm like, I'm looking. You can go with him or you can come with me. It's your call. Freeze you hear and you look up and you see this man standing in the door that that kind of like just outside that doorway, like that one that was running and he's holding his gun up pointed at you. Listen. Drop but, your gun now. From from where is this? Help me out. Is this guy behind us or in front? He's of directly us in front of you. Directly, oh, it's the okay. same guy you were chasing after. He come. He comes stepping after he walked out of the room and started walking by. This guy come out too. Take him out. I whisper when I talk to him. <laughs> I turn around. I'm like, <laughs> listen. I told you. I was sent here by Iris. Put the gun down. Listen. I am putting the gun down, and I'm like gently putting it in front of me. You see. Buddy, I got this gun here. I'm putting it down. You see what I'm doing with this gun here, right? I'm putting the gun down. I need you to be calm right now. All right, buddy? Do you put it down? Yeah, and I slowly put it down the floor and like bend to where like I'm out of out of Dr. Turner's line of sight <laughs> for his shotgun. Then you stand back up? No, no, I'm putting it down, hoping that he fucking fires when I'm like putting the gun down as I'm like kneeling down. Yeah, Greg is like, what did you do to our friend? following my lead man <laughs> he's not greg is not putting the gun down <laughs> okay. okay so as you say that he shoots can i roll for reaction shot <laughs> everyone dies please <laughs> <laughs> the weird thing is is how the initiative system works and he has a higher initiative than you and, and was I waiting can't... to waiting to See how you're going to act and like, okay, you're putting it down. You're just like, well, it's my friend. And then he just bah, yeah. shooting at the one he perceived as being a threat as soon as he put his gun down. Oh, he's shooting at me. Yeah, he's shooting oh. you. Yes. Oh, okay. He told you to put the gun down, let you do it, and then shot you. Okay. We can, we can, like, we can, uh, it was, it was one of those. We can, we can, uh, we can do this dance. All right. <laughs> I'm shooting him then. Definitely. Yeah. I don't need to convince Greg now, dude. Greg. Yeah. He fired, he fired this, uh, this gun at you and it just, it like clips your shoulder. Okay. You know, you have oh. this, like, you just have this, like, scratch and you're like, oh, oh you know, like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <The> cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> he almost killed you just then. Yeah. Oh, fucking it's on, motherfucker. I'm like, all right. Wait. So, Greg, how do you react? Please react. As I said, I'm, I'm shooting. <laughs> yes. I'm going to shoot. All right. And then, uh, Chris, what are you going to do? When he shoots that dude, I'm going to fucking like I can I have the higher initiative right so can I hold my turn? Oh and- yeah, yeah. You okay? Yes, you have the higher initiative, so you know that what he's going to do, yeah, is he's going to shoot again. He he's like he's aiming the gun. He's going to fire it again. Okay. What are you going to do? I am going to attempt to set this motherfucker on fire. He's uh um, he's probably going to squeeze the trigger a couple of times here. 
Yeah, but I, I do I go first? You, yes, you will have your action first, but know that what I'm describing here is him is taking, he's, he's splitting yeah. his dice to take multiple shots. Okay, so he's going to take, yeah, if I, I guess my question, if I shoot a fireball at him, I sound so stupid. <laughs> if I use my pyrokinesis <laughs> powers, will it disrupt him enough to where maybe, like, he won't be able to shoot at me? Maybe. Maybe. Well, then let's maybe uh, figure this maybe out. Maybe if you get really super successful at it and, like, hmm. you know. Or maybe can I, like, tackle him before he shoots me? You can try. What would I have to do to try to do that? You can roll a... You have enough movement to make it to him. You can roll strength and athletics, oh, and it'll man. be oh, a I difficulty know. of six. And if you and if you get enough successes, you might knock him down. Yeah, I don't have that. My only my only cue is to be able to set him on fire. That's the only thing I can fucking do. Because my gun's on the ground, I'd have to pick it up and shoot him, right? And I don't have firearms. All I got is this ability. My talking, all the situation thing isn't working well. Can't tackle the dude because I literally only have one in strength and no one in athletics. So I am going to tap into my my third eye and i'm going to try to use my pyro kinesis yeah. ability here which he better hope i don't take him out because his fucking buddy is going to go on fire too when i'm done with him motherfucker um what do i roll for this again so i uh manipulation awareness manipulation awareness cost of willpower point yep i'm gonna I'm spend that i'm down to two willpower and a manipulation and awareness difficulty uh what level are you using i am using the second one so I think that makes it a five. Okay. I'm going to go home and roll, roll that. That's only four dice. Fuck, dude. I can't spend a willpower on this. So four successes. Holy shit. All right. So you fling this like bolt of flame from your hand and it just splashes across him and lights his clothes on fire. And he just like, ah, it's just like screams, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, motherfucker. Woo. Tillman, you're shooting your gun? Do I get a bonus for taking my last action to aim at him? Um, yeah, you get one extra dice. Okay. I'm going to spend willpower anyway. And then I have, is it dex firearms, right? Yes, dexterity and firearms. It's difficulty of six. Damn, even with willpower, that's only two successes. Eight, eight damage dice plus, plus one, so nine, because it's a shotgun. All right, total number of successes. Is 10 double or re-roll? Oh, it it's only re-rolls on specializations. Okay, so it's cancelled Actually, no, it's anyway. double in V20. That's what it is. It's cancelled out, these two, so... Yeah, you have two ones. I think that's four successes. Four successes, yeah. So two fire from me, four from the shotgun. Dude's, dude's in a Jeb status right now. Okay, so he's, very he's on fire, and he gets shot, and he's screaming in pain. And then something strange happens. Uh, you know, minus all the other weird, strange <laughs> stuff that's been happening, right? Everything goes cold, and the lights start dimming and flickering. You you can see your breath. It's frosty. Like this this just puff of, like, you know, when it's, like, really super cold, and you, you can just see it just so... All the moisture just immediately becoming visible. And, again, the lights are dimming, like flickering and just going darker and darker and darker and there's this scream that you start hearing that starts getting louder and louder and louder and it seems to be coming from everywhere at once right it's this just sound that it builds in volume and this guy he's there just like writhing in pain and then you see him get lifted up into the air and his body just twists in a way that is not natural and you hear a cracking of bones and just like the gurgling sounds of his death and he crumbles to the ground and then the temperature goes back to normal and the lights come back on and everything's fine i look at turner and i'm like i think we just did something right there good work walter I how are you how are you feeling at this very moment <laughs> Walter is fired the fuck up now it could be the cocaine it could be the killing the spinny guy who's on fire and making things warm again it could just be the fact that like we have struck and we have I'm like want to see like what's in that fucking room dude because like they hurt my friends and like I don't know like he's a, a hodgepodge of emotion he just feels victorious right now and he I'm like I can imagine like he's looking at Greg right now like you know that moment where two people are like really feeling like that adrenaline just pulsing through them and they have a moment of connection I'm just looking at Gregory in the eyes dude I'm just like are we going or not 
Okay, so that's what's going through in your head. What's going on in uh, Greg's head? Definitely feeling that adrenaline rush, a lot of panic as well. Like he's not very excited about all of this, but like if you if you put a heart rate meter to him, it would probably like fail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, but yeah, he. Uh, He's gonna go to that door. He he needs to find out. And and Robert, how are you feeling as you are pulling this your your friend away from what was definitely certain death? I'm starting to feel like you know. I think he is gonna live now, and that he's just grunting in pain at the moment. Uh, but... Any any choice words from Jeb? Ow! <laughs> You're gonna be oh, okay, yeah. buddy. You're gonna be <laughs> okay, buddy. Why, 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 why is that got holes in me? Just hang on, buddy. You're going to make it, okay? Any other thoughts going through your head at this moment? Basically, I'm just trying to, like, get uh, Jeb to, like, a hospital or something. I, yeah, I feel, like okay. I'm, I feel like I'm losing him or something. But I am relieved that he's not dead. Oh, hello again, folks. I'd like to tell you about the Facebook group we run called White Wolf and Onyx Path RPGs Gameplay and Media. Have you ever wished you could have an easy way to find gameplay videos and podcasts or just media in general that deals with your favorite White Wolf role-playing games? Or have you ever wished you could find a forum to share gameplay that you have recorded? One that won't be drowned out by random posts and discussions so that your media could give the attention you deserve. The group is specifically run with the sole intent of being a one-stop shop for people to view or share media involving the games we all love. We take thorough steps to ensure the page does not become cluttered and is easy to traverse. The group is already immense and continuing to rapidly grow, with new media being shared every day. Stop on by, we hope to see you there.